just when you thought they couldn't possibly come up with another gimmick or razor variation, I give you the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide with Flexball technology. Gillette, the same people that brought you back in the day the Mach 3. The Mach 3, everybody knows that you've heard of it. You've probably owned one or have used one. All right, this at the time was cutting edge shave tech, right? Three blades. That no, but three blades, what are they crazy? Yeah, and the guys over at Gillette were like, we're a little bit crazy and we need to sell razors, so three blades. Fast forward to today, and Gillette now would have you believe that if you were using the Mach 3, you might as well be shaving with a shell. It's totally barbaric. So they've come out with something called the Fusion, right? The Fusion. It's got five gorgeous, glorious blades made of the sharpest stainless steel. The Fusion. A five blade razor, actually six because they got one on the back so that you can actually control this thing. Alright, so they're like, oh yay, they're celebrating, throwing fusion parties, right? Because they're so excited about this new cutting edge razor that you just have to have. Well, a week after the launch, you're like, alright, we need to, we got to be thinking ahead and figuring out what's next. And so, what's next, they actually added a battery. Turned your regular razor into a vibrating tool that your wife will love. So your razor is now vibrating and you shave your face. And what is supposed to happen is that those vibrations are actually causing your hairs on your face to stand up, allowing you to get closer. Does it work? Come on. Seriously? Seriously. This is just an example of another gimmick to sell razors and it really personally pisses me off. So now, let's go over the next Gillette razor that they wanted to pawn off on your asses. Bringing us to one of Alpha M's biggest pet peeves and that is the fact that these razor companies feel the need to keep reinventing razors when good enough would have done six years ago. All right? Just in an attempt to keep you buying razors. You want to impress me, Gillette? Come up with a blade that doesn't get dull after six uses. Yeah, oh, you can make a razor that can shave your butthole and not cut you, but you can't make a razor blade that'll last? Give me a break. That's ridiculous. You just want to sell razors. And so today, I thought we'd do a review of the newest, most amazing razor ever to grace your stubble, the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide with Rollerball technology. So a few weeks ago, I get an email from Gillette's PR person, and they're like, hey, we want to send you the newest razor. It's not even out yet. You're going to get a sneak peek at this thing. I'm like, really? Awesome. I don't want it. And she goes, no, seriously, we want, I actually told them I did not want this razor. And they're like, seriously, we just want to send it to you. Do whatever you want with it. We don't even need a review. I'm like, all right, cool. Send me the razor. So they send me a razor and it arrives in a Pelican case. It's this big box. All right, I'm going to show you. Yeah, I, at first I'm like, I got this box. I'm like, what? A, this is a razor. This is why they cost so much because they're sending sh crap like this out. Please, yours does not come in a cool box like this. It comes in a little dinky plastic one. You open it, yes, razors to the old Fusion and the new Fusion with rollerball technology. And in the bottom, yeah, you guessed it, some shave cream. It also came with a manual explaining why there is such a need for this little rollerball. So they send this manual, right, with all the explaining the problem and why this razor is the solution. And basically, it's got a bunch of pictures of all these guys making stupid faces. Inspired by Shave Face. Before I get down to business and actually demonstrate the technology behind the razor, I would like to read from the manual, all right? talk to you, tell you a little bit more about the inspiration behind this amazing product and razor. For more than a century, men have shaved in straight lines, but faces are angular and curved, with cliffs and peaks, swells and delves. And shaving on this particular curved surface is particularly challenging. This is crap. Let's try the razor. Behold the roller ball. That's it. That is what all the fuss is about, gentlemen, and apparently that is going to rock my shaving world. Get ready. There you go. All right, let's give it a whirl, shall we? Yep, it shaves.
I can't get up like in my mustache and around. It's just too, this thing, it's huge. Uh, as far as like the, the technology, what I'm supposed to be experiencing, I can't even, because I don't, I'm not like car, it's not like, you don't do that with your face, you don't do that with your razor. You will cut the crap out of yourself. I don't care if you got a pivoting head or not, Gillette. The verdict is in. Not only do I not like the Fusion, this rollerball technology I think is a total crock of crap just to sell you another razor. The cost around $15. These aren't actually in the store yet, all right? You can pre-order it. There's a link below if you want to go check it out over at Amazon. Uh, the replacement cartridge is eight for $30. Like I said, Gillette, you want to impress me, make a razor that you can use for a year. And for those of you watching, if you want to know a secret to keeping your blade actually sharp and last longer, dry it off. When you're finished, okay, rinse it off and then dry it. Use a hair dryer, blow on it, get all the condensation off of the blades. It's not actually the hair that is doling the blade, it's the water left on there or the condensation that is actually eroding it, causing it to pit and get dull. As for the razor, I love it! I'm just kidding, this whole thing, I love it, my god! Gillette, sell it to somebody else, sister, but I ain't buying.